Joining me right now, back on the show, former Hex welterweight champion, Kit the Killer Campbell. He will be fighting at Hex Fight Series 14 versus Saeed Patai on June 30th in Melbourne. What's going on, Kit? Welcome back. Not much, man. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. No doubt, man. Always good to have some of the, you know, up-and-coming guys in Australia on the show. Now, before we get into your fight, I want to ask you, you know, did you play sports growing up or was it strictly martial arts? Um, I first got into AFL, Australian, Australian Rules Footy. Um, played that up until I was about, say, 16, 17. And during that time, I'd started judo as well. So um, I just decided to give up the AFL or the footy and um, focus more on the martial arts side of things. I picked it up pretty quick. I suppose I'm competing from an early age as well. But uh, that helps you as well pick it up quick because, um, you know, you've got to be ready for those competitions. So it makes you work a bit harder. Um, but, yeah, no, I eased into judo pretty well. You turned pro as a teenager at Brace 24 in 2013. Take us back to that glorious night. Yeah, uh, my first fight. Um, yeah, nothing really comes close to the first fight. You know, those the sort of nerves that you get on the first fight. You never, never want to lose your first fight. So, um, and I made sure I was going to go out there and win that, and I and I did. I got the job done pretty early, so I was happy with that performance. Now you fast forward, you win the Hex title at Hex Fight Series 10. You defend it at Hex Fight Series 13. Let's get into that title defense three months ago in the main event against Matt Vale. It was 25 minutes of fury. You dropped a unanimous decision. When you look back at that fight, what positives did you take away? Um, you know, I, I always take away positives from a loss. I never enjoy losing. I'm always out there to win. So I wasn't happy with that performance. So that gave me enough to go back to the drawing board and fix where I felt I was off, you know, whether that's fighting itself or the mind game as well. So I've been working on both immensely for this fight. Was there anything that happened in that fight that was unexpected? Um, I mean, hats off to Matt. He's a, he's a good fighter, and that's a rematch that I'd love to have in the future. You know, he's got my belt now, so I'm not happy with that. I, I, want, I want to fight him again, and I think that I can um, have a better performance next time because I, I, I was, you know, I was really off in that fight. And, you know, that's, he didn't get to experience the full kick Campbell that I can bring to him and that I know I can bring. So, you know, I want that rematch again. I want to be able to prove myself. Um, but, yeah, lessons from the fight, you know. Like I said, I just... Um, you know, I took lessons physically and mentally, and I'm working on them. Uh, you, you speak about the, the mental aspect of the game, and you've been working on that. And I saw that publicly you said that you let your emotions get the better of you. What exactly happened? I just went in there, and um, my mind wasn't on it. Usually I'm very focused in there. I'm straightforward, and I know what the goal is in there. I was, you know, I had a bit, a fair, fair bit of stuff going on, so that's – what I've really worked on this one and just the focus in the mental game. It uh, play, plays such a big part in this sport. Did you take a lot of time off after that fight or were you back in the gym preparing for your next challenge immediately? I broke my hand in that fight. So I went and got that sorted and I was straight back in there right away, just working on my jab because it was my right hand that I stuffed up. So I was straight back in the gym right away. So I pretty much, you know, had a long camp for this one too. So. I mean, I don't like sitting on the sidelines feeling sorry for myself. I want to get straight back in there and um, work on where I went wrong. When did you exactly break the hand in the in that fight? I'm not exactly sure, but it was a pretty bad break. So I, I'm not exactly sure. You know, when the adrenaline's pumping and stuff, you don't know don't know exactly when it happened until after the fight, and you take the glove off, and it just blows up like a balloon. So you know, I'm not exactly sure when I broke it, but yeah, I would have been fighting part of that fight with a broken hand. I did that in my last fight too and against you there as well. The recovery of your hand, did that go well? Yeah, it was fine. It's at 100% now. So it didn't take too long to heal up. You're jumping right back in against Saheed. Did you add anybody new to the team for your preparations? I've been doing a lot more partner work. I've been going down to uh, Daniel Kelly's gym, Resilience, you know, three, four times a week. 
to get in some good solid rounds, you know, with like Jake Matthews, Jimmy Crew, Callum Potter, Daniel Kelly, all those top names. So I'm getting a lot more partner work in, a lot more grappling. And um, yeah, I'm happy with how this camp's turning out. Wow, those are some uh, big names that you're, you know, hitting the gym with. Uh, do you feel like your confidence is really high right now? Um, not overly confident. I'm just, I'm sitting at a nice level. You know, I don't like coming in overly confident, but um, my confidence is sitting at a nice level. And as I said, I'm happy where everything's at at the moment. So I'm feeling really good for this one. Saeed, he doesn't have the best record, but he comes in with a lot of momentum. I think he's won three in a row. Um, what challenges does he does he pose to you? Um, I've fought guys like Say before, you know, big upper body, sort of. I mean, they're large in size for the weight class, but I've got the reach on him, so you know, I can capitalise in areas like that. Um, as far as I know, he's aggressive. He likes mixing things up, so it's going to make for a really interesting fight. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to get in there. It's a tough opponent. He's, I mean, I think he's six and three. So, you know, he's had a few losses in between there, but he's on a good run at the moment. As you said, he's on a three-fight win streak. So, you know, that's it. that's the sort of fight that I want. What kind of fight do you see playing out when you step into the cage? Uh, I'm going to keep it technical. I'm going to keep everything long, stop him from coming in and playing his game. So, you know, this fight can go either way. It's going to be um, it's one for the fans, that's for sure. He's going to be coming out explosive. I'll be doing the same. So, yeah, I'm confident I'm going to get the job done, though. Where, where does a win over Saeed put you in that rematch that you want so bad? Oh, well, I'd hope after that, but that puts me in contention. I mean, it's up to Matt Vale now whether he wants to fight me or not. What's going to happen there? I'm not sure what his camp's doing or what his plans are, but I suppose now that he's the champion, he's got the say, but I'm going to be asking for it. I'm going to be asking for it for sure. All right. Hex Fight Series 14. Kit the Killer Campbell will face Saheed Fatai on June 30th in Melbourne, Australia. Thank you for your time, Kit, and uh, good luck to you, man. Thank you for having me. We'll uh, talk soon.